guys and welcome back to my channel. As you can tell, we are not at Grandma's Playroom today and that is because a big snowstorm just hit St. Louis and we have been stuck in our house for approximately two and a half days. I have not been able to get up to the playroom, unfortunately. Oh, hi, Shiva. So we're filming at home. Uh, there are gonna be a lot of distractions. I have both boys here, my husband is home, and I have a bunch of cats, like this one here. This is Shiva, say hi, Shiva. I know. So I thought this would be oh, the perfect opportunity to share all the fidgets that I have here in my house. You and I till the end, don't be too brief. So this collection's going to be a lot smaller than my collection at work, at the playroom. I have like 99% of my fidgets there. Here the boys have this thing filled with fidgets. <laughs> They definitely have more at the player. Okay, Shiva, she is just not wanting me to film. Oh, you wanna go behind me? Here, go up here. Oh. So I figured I would just pull one out at a time and show you what we have. The first fidget in here is this gigantic slow rising hot dog. I mean, this thing is huge. It's literally bigger than my head. It's like the size of a small baby. <laughs> and uh, it was way too expensive. I don't know if you guys remember that video, but this was when I got scammed at a kiosk in the mall. It is gigantic, but definitely not worth the price. Let's count how many poppets the boys have. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, ooh, 13, 14, and 15. Hooray! 15 poppets, which is not a bad collection for just being like our at-home fidgets. I love this one from Nicole Jacqueline. It's actually like a little hamburger. I thought it was so funny when I saw it. The boys loved it and listen, so satisfying. Let's see if I can do this whole top part. Nice. And then I actually prefer Poppet cubes over the Poppet like spheres, circles, globes, Poppet balls, because these I feel like I can actually pop every single one down a lot easier. And then go. <laughs> Did you just scare him? Trying to film at home, guys, is definitely uh, wild. Of course, they've got the Poppet Ball. This is a big fan favorite in our house. We like to try to see how many we can push down at the same time. I believe our record is 10. Let me know down in the comments. How many have you been able to push down at a single time? So satisfying. We have this very big Pikachu. AJ is obsessed with Pokemon. So when I saw this, I knew he had to have it. And Charlie yeah. loves the Hulk. So we've got a regular Poppet and a hard shell Poppet. These are so fun. I love that the Hulk even has pops in his hair. This is a thinner hard shell that I got from a, another video where I filmed in the mall. Unfortunately, I think I get scammed a lot when I go to the mall because this is a very, very cheap plastic, but the boys will love it anyway. So we've got two Hulk poppets. Another one of the AJs is this Switch poppet. It is so cool. He is obsessed with his Switch. So when I saw this, I knew it was another must have for our collection. We also have this fat brain like person dimple. It is huge. I love the shape of it. They come in two different sizes. At the playroom, I have like the small one, but here we just have the big one and it is so much fun. I love the little like brain on there. We also have a Yoda is very loud. We have their stockings. I haven't put away their holiday fidgets. I kind of just like leave it in with the rest of them. And speaking of holidays, we have this ghost dimple and this sparkly green one. You might remember this one from when we went to Disney in November. I love the glitter in that. We also have these blocks that are dimples. And you can build any shape, any size. These are from Mrs. Bench and the boys love these. And then last but not least, we have this big rainbow poppet and it's actually a times table. So you could see like three times two is six. So this is a really fun, handy one to have and it is educational as well. I think I said last but not least on that one, but I also have this one. It is a space dimple. 
And it is so crispy, so loud that the sun is my favorite. So loud. Not sure if these count as fidgets, but we got them from Fidget Headquarters and Charlie loves them. There are these puppets. This one still has the tag on. How do, how do kids play with toys if the tags are still on there? You can't eat it. Ugh, you can't eat it. So these are really funny and they are like a silicone. So they're really easy to clean, but Charlie loves these. Let me know down in the comments. Do these count as fidgets? They're definitely like stretchy. We also have a lot of gujitsus here at the house. I categorize these as fidgets because they're kind of like a mix between an action figure and a stress ball. I think we have more of these here than we do at the playroom because the boys really, really like these. So we have one, two, three, four, five. We've got this gold guy that's filled with kind of like a slime. Shiva, you've got to stop touching the camera. Ah! We have Aquaman and he's filled with like really big Orbeez. We have LeBron from Space Jam and he's filled with, I can't even like figure it out, but it is so satisfying because you can pull it and then it like slowly goes back, but it like doesn't break or crack or anything. It is so satisfying. If this thing ever pops, I'm going to have to cut it open to see what it's actually inside. This one is filled with like glitter and Orbeez and it is a so pretty. I think I love Gujitsus just as much as the boys. And then last but not least, we have this guy. He is red and he's filled with like blue Orbeez. So it's almost like a color changing Gujitsu. We have a couple other little action figure squishy guys like this stretchy like sand guy. And then we've got Captain America who's kind of filled with like beads. And then we also have the Hulk. You can definitely tell that this collection is my children's collection because they love everything like action figure-y. Let's pull out every stress ball the boys have. Hey, here's their entire collection of like stress balls, squishies, things like that. It is a little bit smaller than mama's collection, but let me show you some of their favorites. They have this little monster slow rising squishy. Charlie loves these. He's got a couple more, but they might be at the playroom. This one kind of reminds me of Yoda. They love this one for some reason. It's got the tentacles, it's filled with air, and it is really just like a fun stress ball. This one's really good for the bathtub too. They have this unicorn slow rising squishy, three neato stress balls, the mini version, yellow, orange, and green. They asked if they could take this one home, and I said yes, because you guys all know how I feel about this guy. They love it, I hate it. Charlie loves these like little meshy guys. So he has a dinosaur and this little shark. These are definitely some of my favorites. We've got this bubble blower from Mrs. Bench. It's like a little, is this a dinosaur? Is it a lizard? I mean, a lizard is a dinosaur, right? What is this animal? But how cute is that? They've got a pup in a costume, but unfortunately right now his hot dog costume is off. Charlie just thought it was hilarious that a dog was dressed up like a hot dog. So he had to bring this one home. These are really fun. And then my favorites in this collection are, well, that's his tushy. Turn you around, his face is gone. But it's this like barnyard animal and then this kawaii kitty. I feel like you can really tell if a fidget is good by the way it squishes between your fingers. They also have a couple of monkey noodles. They've got an orange one, like a little purple one, a green one that kind of feels hollow inside. He's like hollow right here. Hmm. And then this unicorn one, I try to keep them from doing this in the house because I'm afraid they're gonna like whack each other or whack the furniture but they just have a couple of these. They have a Rubik's Cube. This is a funny little turtle guy. The shell is hard but the turtle itself is like soft and squishy. It's a very interesting fidget. The fidgets they love versus the fidgets I love is so vastly different, but that's what I love about fidgets is there's something for everyone. And you can tell by their collection, it's a little different than mine. This is like a Rubik's cube, but it's like these barrels. So you try to get it to go back together. So like it's like one consistent tube like this, but I, I will never be able to figure this out. There's only a few left. They've got a couple of mochis. These are Charlie's favorites, but he tends to keep the bulk of his collection at the playroom. So he has something to do while he's there. They've got this little like bouncy ball. Let's see if we can bounce it. Ooh. 
and it lights up. They also have these magnetic balls. These are a really good size because my kids, I'm not worried about them like swallowing anything, but these are perfect for their hands. Specs are a little small and they tend to lose them. So for like a five and a seven year old, these are great. Magnetic fidgets are like very dangerous if you have small kids who put things in their mouths. So these need to only be used with supervision. And then I missed another squishy stress ball. It is this ear of corn. Definitely a funny one. These are all the fidgets the boys have in their personal at-home collection. Obviously all of mommy's fidgets at the playroom I share with them. They switch them out with these fidgets a lot. We just don't have a lot here because I tend to fill more at the playroom, but these are their like favorites, the ones that they love to have at the house. And let me know what you guys think of AJ and Charlie's personal fidget collection. That's everything for today's video, guys. I might have to film a couple more here at my house, just depending on when I can finally get out. Let me know. Oh, is it snowing where you guys live? I'm pretty sure the Midwest is just like a white blanket right now. But if you guys liked this video and liked seeing me film inside my house, give it a thumbs up. And if you loved it, I would love it if you would subscribe. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Stay warm and don't forget, wash your hands. Bye guys. <laughs>